Uh, before article number 19, Mr. David Tudrin of the Buildings Committee would like to have uh, five minutes of our time. I'd also like to make note to everybody on your way out tonight, ride by and take a look at our brand new lit up bell that is in front. There's been a tremendous amount of work in the last three weeks to finish up that bell and a lot of work by people that are in this room and I'd like to thank each and every one of them. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I don't know if you're on. Mr. No. It was, it was unanimous. Thank you, David Tudor in 346 River Drive. Over the last few months, the Municipal Buildings Committee has focused our attention on what we call phase one of our recommendation plan. We worked with the Select Board, the CPA, and Capital Planning Commission to fine tune the Warren Articles tonight. This process took much longer than any of us could have anticipated. Uh, we've promoted our agenda with an article in the Gazette today, uh, The Republican, a Facebook page, numerous appearances on public access television, uh, and with a fairly well-attended public forum on October 16th. Uh, we've created fact sheets for each article tonight and are prepared tonight to do, give a short explanation of each one. Our initial efforts are concentrated on several immediate actions stabilizing the condition of the existing town buildings so we can preserve them for longer term use. Uh, uh, two, uh, on recommending we hire a project consultant to supplement the town's limited staff and to assist us with architectural, engineering, and construction oversight services. Uh, three, on making provisions to recommend the sale of North Hadley Village Hall. Four, on a recommendation to seek more suitable property in North Hadley for the fire substation. The recommendation to sell one of our oldest buildings has been a difficult one. Um, every member of our committee recognizes the historic significance and prominence of this particular building in North Hadley Village Center. We also agree, however, that the town is not in a position to allocate the significant amount of funding required to rehabilitate North Hadley Village Hall. And even if it were re rehabilitated, uh, we don't think the building square footage and site constraints are a good fit for any of the town's programs or departments. Before it's lost to deterioration, our committee recommends seeking suitable and responsible private owners that will take on this renovation and, co and who can benefit from the available private tax incentives and less expensive private labor rates. Such a project could be a catalyst for rejuvenating the village center. And to be clear, our committee will work with the Historic Commission to formulate the appropriate historic preservation restrictions for the sale. A search for a new property to ultimately house the North Hadley Fire Substation hinges on the approval of the non-binding vote tonight included in the warrant. We believe that the Fire Chief has made a convincing argument to our committee for maintaining a presence in North Hadley, and their existing space in North Hadley Village Hall would be inadequate even if we hadn't recommended selling the property. Before we dig any deeper into the plans for the Senior Center, Russell School, Town Hall, the Library, the Public Safety Complex, and the DPW, we're working with the Select Board and have issued the Space Needs Survey to all the department heads so we can better understand our longer term space needs. This will help us perform test bits of various functions into different facilities. We're also compiling site survey plans of all the buildings so we can investigate the feasibility of expanding, reconfiguring, or building new. The outcomes of tonight's meeting will give us an indication of the town's enthusiasm for preserving buildings while recognizing that in some cases, the fate of a historic building is better served in the hands of private owners. Tonight's vote would allow us to use town budgets for a more balanced preservation of the town's assets, including opportunities to preserve other iconic Hadley buildings and possibly for the construction of new facilities to meet our longer term needs. We ask for your support by approving all of the articles that our committee has placed on the ballot tonight and will be available uh, during the discussion period uh, of each article to try and answer your questions. Thank you. Thank you, David.